Well, we managed to meet up in the middle, at least. Yeah. But otherwise, I'd say we're at a stalemate here. Uh, these guys are a real pain in the ass. It makes for a killer photo op, though. These snaps are like gold! They've taken countermeasures to ensure the Merkaba wouldn't be able to act. So it seems. With all these guns trained on us, we'd end up taking too much concentrated fire. <laughs> Maybe we can just shoot down one of theirs. I'm afraid that's not an option. They'd simply use it against us. Agreed. They need only spin it as a declaration of war. The Erebonian Intelligence Division is poised and ready to flood the world with misinformation. All they need is an excuse. Then the Scarecrow's already at work. I'd expect no less from Osborne's right-hand man. We'll have to count on Richard and the others to stave them off. Richard's here? Indeed. Lecter, how did this happen? Looks like just getting them to their ships wasn't enough. Brigadier General Bardius, shouldn't we go help them? If Zephyr's out there, I should be too. This is the perfect chance for me to knock some sense back into George. No. I need all of you to stand down. It seems your worst case scenario is upon us. I'm afraid so. M Mildine? No, you don't mean. Major activity on the Glorious! There's something massive deploying on deck! Oh no! I knew it! The ions? No way. Yup, the ions. Uh, ions? Three of them. They look a little different from the ones we saw in Crossbell. These must be their second models. They're coming. Gonna need some Divine Knights. All ships, evasive maneuvers. If we can just keep up the pressure. Damn it. Rosine! Shit. Don't tell me. It's coming. Flashy for my taste, but not bad. Oh, come on. This is just overkill. <laughs> what magnificent power. Even greater than the Empire's Divine Knights. Ooh, nice one, Lady Belle. I guess that creepy doll obsession of yours makes you pretty good at controlling ions, huh? Why, naturally. A marionette is a marionette, no matter the size. Instructor, are you going to call him in? Yeah, I'll leave everything else to you. Heed my call. Valimar! Come, Ordeen! Of course. 
Those are divine knights? They're even more impressive than I imagined. Ah, finally bringing out your ace in the hole, huh? However, we've accounted for this. To me, Testarossa! Come, Zector! Do we have the rest of our soul dots too? T two more of them? The Vermilion and Palatinate Knights. Prince Cedric, you sure you're up for this old man? Well then, since we have this chance, how about we start the rivalries right here and now? Hey, cool your jets there, little prince. Doesn't count if we're not in a shrine. The Ion Gamma. Seeing it from the other side of the battlefield, it's overwhelming. Having second thoughts? I really do pity you, Duvali. Hopefully you see now that you've bitten off more than you can chew. Unfortunately, the situation will only get worse for you from here on. Damn it, on our six! <laughs> Check and mate! They've returned. Damn, this puts us in a real bind. Even Gilbert... Off your asses, everyone! It's time to move! Hold on, guys! We're coming for you! Let's find our way up to the deck! I can teleport us there! Hold on! No! That won't be necessary. We have one final landing craft left on board. With it, you will make your escape, along with Her Highness. I'll head to the deck. Be sure to recover Schwarzer and the others when the chance strikes. B but that would mean leaving you behind. Just tell us, Muse, what are you trying to do here? Lady Mildine accounted for this, should things go south. And as it so happens, everything went just as she predicted. This is our contingency plan. All we're doing is putting it into play. Everyone, it's been my pleasure to know each and every one of you. I ask that you give Instructor Reen and the rest of Class 7 my deepest regards. You say? What are you saying? You intend to die here, is that it? We don't wish to die here. But dire straits call for dire measures. We will soon plot a course for the Crimson Ark. Ramming speed. There'll be no getting away for them, given the distance. That's crazy! Even if you do take him down, an impact that massive, it, it would blow you to pieces. Besides, this is the flagship of the Viceland army. You can't just give it up. And what of Mil Mirage? How do you expect it to go on if we lose all three of you? Not to worry. Mil Mirage was set in motion the moment Lieutenant General Bright was named Supreme Commander. The Viceland army's core forces need only await his orders. And I suspect Vita will come to their aid as well. We're fully aware of how heavy a blow sacrificing this ship will be. But if it allows us to take down the Crimson Ark in turn, then as far as exchanges go, there are far worse moves to play. You say, Principal Le Guin? But why? <gasps> Mildine? No, Muse! What reason is there for you to throw your life away as well? It's only right that the one responsible for a plan that will kill millions joins them in death. I long ago decided to stand my ground with the generals, should it come to this. Though in truth, perhaps I'm simply not strong enough to bear all that grief. <sighs> Muse, You really... As the Supreme Commander of the Viceland Army, I order you to evacuate this ship immediately. Notify all crew members. Prepare to execute Plan D. As you wish. Commence Plan D. For the glory of the Viceland Army! Yes, my lord! Yes, your highness! The landing craft is in the hold directly below. 
Make your way to the elevator at once. Or else, goddess be my witness, I will cut you down right where you stand. <sighs> Shit. You leave us no choice. Actually, I don't think we have to go at all. Huh? Kia? What do you mean? She's exactly right. It's the old man! Mr. Bright! Suspend Plan D until further notice. This course of action has already been discussed. I was under the impression we'd come to an agreement. Indeed. You truly are a remarkable young woman, capable of influencing the very fate of the world itself. But it would seem both of us failed to give credit where credit was due. Namely, to the potential of the Third Path, and the wings which light its way. <sighs> Did you just say wings? But that would mean... There's only one thing in Erebonia that comes to mind. Yeah! They're coming! Ah! I recognize that sound! Hmm. Wait, isn't that... Now what? <sighs> it's getting closer! Who's bailing us out now? Ship? No! That ship! It's... Stealth mode. Confirm visual on enemy strike force. Three ion units also confirmed. Breaking into combat airspace. Ready to execute plan 07. Then let us tarry no longer. Landing party, are you prepared? That we are. You can just leave the rest to us. We shall take care of things from here on out. So that's where they were. They are working with Olivier <laughs> the whole time. I to bear witness to such a dramatic scene firsthand. <laughs> Such are the benefits that come with our roles on this stage. Let's get to it already. Been a long time since I had the chance to get a little wild. Attention all crew! Today marks the day of our maiden voyage. And what a day it is! But this Grand Blue Yonder is no place for confinement. Let us show them we won't so easily dance to their tune. How did he survive, though? He lost an eye, but otherwise came out unscathed. Enough to at least uh, come, come in there to ship. Oh, what is that thing? The Makaba Unit 2? Wait, no! It's... What? Was it always that crazy huge? It's powerful, but will it be enough to turn the tides against the ions? Here they come! Hell yeah! Looks like the party's really getting started now! Patrick, become playable already! That works on ions, too? Uh, the hell'd you guys come from? Hot damn. Talk about crashing a party. Fear not. Your salvation has arrived. Patrick! And not just him. Shara! That's right. I hope you haven't gotten into too much trouble without me. So, 
sorry for dropping in out of the blue. I imagine it must be confusing for those of you I haven't met. My name is Sherizard Harvey, but some of you might know me better as the Liberlian Bracer Guild's Silver Streak. You're back. And just in the nick of time, too. You're Estelle's friend, aren't you? We heard you'd been missing for some time. So you're okay after all? Seems so. Though she's certainly not the only familiar face to drop in. I have to say, you two are the last people I would have expected to show up. Ha ha! You should know this by now. Where the spotlight goes, so too shall I. Better late than never, I suppose. This should help even the scales. Phantom Thief B? Huh, impressive. They use some kind of magic to stop the big guy here in his tracks. I could learn quite a bit about being an anguish from you. Perhaps you could give me some private tutelage sometime. Oh, I'm so sorry, but I'm afraid we're not quite on the same team here, so to speak. What is even going on right now? I detect a layer to this that is beyond my comprehension. Man, there's a lot I'd like to comment on, but now's not really the time. You can say that again. It seems for once we're both on the same page. <clears throat> How? How are you here? You were aboard the Courageous when it exploded. I saw it with my own eyes. <laughs> eh, who can say? Maybe Adio spared me just so I could come spoil your fun. <sighs> You're Instructor Reen's friend. Sup, Reen? How you been? Good to see you too, Estelle. Joshua. I'm finally back from my little vacation in Gehenna. Toval. No way. I swear this better not just be a dream. Then Victor should be okay. here too, right? I can't believe it. Huh. You don't look like much of an immortal to me. Doubt you could have gotten revived. Yeah. As far as I can tell, he's just a perfectly normal guy from head to toe, unlike us. You telling me a regular-ass guy like you survived a whole friggin' ship exploding? That's right. Like I said, I had Adios there looking out for me. Well, maybe not just Adios. <laughs> <sighs> well now, this doesn't quite match up with what we were told, now does it? I'm starting to think someone played a dirty little trick on us. It bears reminding that Master Toval was not the only passenger on the Courageous when it exploded. Then... That would mean... Ah, oh, what a delight it is to know my memory lingers on in so many minds. Please, open your Arcus units and let your imagination become reality. You'll have to excuse my aesthetic augmentation. Rest assured, before you sits the very same devilish rogue you've always known. <sighs> Oliver! You're alive! You were alive this whole time! 
And there's Mint and the others. They've been with His Highness all along. Yeah, looks like they've got a few Branch Campus kids tagging along too. Unbelievable. <laughs> looks like His Highness has got us beat. Indeed. One might say he utterly outplayed us. It's been a good while, Ring. I see you've gone through a bit of a makeover yourself. And just like yours truly, you're all the sexier for it, you handsome little rascal, you. Your Highness, I... I can't believe it. You're really alive. But how? What in the world happened back then? That's what we want to know. Why didn't you tell us? Do you have any idea how we felt when they came to the world and told us you blew up? I can only imagine. And for that, I cannot apologize enough. The circumstances which forced me to secrecy were as entangling as a rosebush, and twice as prickly. Ah, but what does it matter? No remorse could hold us from the blooming jubilation of this long-awaited reunion of ours. <laughs> we can't argue with you there. Though I suppose this explains why Shara went off the radar. Pretty much. I happened to randomly stumble upon some info about his survival. That was why I had to cut off all contact. We couldn't have information like that leaking out to just anyone. Not only for Olivier's sake, but the Courageous Two's as well. Well, I guess that makes sense, but... Oh, sorry, Reen. We kind of cut you off there, huh? Not at all. Honestly, I'm still trying to wrap my mind around all this. I didn't expect to see you here either, Major Michael. Much less you, Lieutenant Colonel Mueller. <laughs> this is what I meant when I said I had plans of my own. It's been a fair bit longer for us, though, hasn't it, Schwarzer? A shame I couldn't say this sooner, but I'd like to thank you for all you've done for Kurt. Mueller! Thank goodness you're all right. When I heard the Seventh got disbanded, I didn't know what to think. Ah, Kurt, there you are. I can tell you've gotten stronger since I last saw you. But I think it's best we set our family gathering aside for the time being. Indeed. You survived after all. I'm so relieved. But I regret to inform you, Operation Normangon is already underway. The same goes for that brazen meal mirage scheme. So tell me, Olivert, what could you possibly hope to accomplish with that overblown ship of yours at this point? <laughs> if I may hazard a guess, perhaps he's here to join meal mirage. Alas, no. With Muse, Cassius, and all the other presiding dignitaries involved, Meal Mirage is in as good a set of hands as can be. I, or rather we, have appeared before you today for one reason, and one reason only. To serve as the wings upon which deliverance to a third path is granted. Jormungand and Mil Mirage. Two massive operations of unavoidable consequence. Yet amidst these titans is another force. Those unyielding in their hope that the twilight will soon give way to the dawn. Reen, Lloyd, and Estelle. And each of their companions that walk this path with them. Not to mention a multitude of others all ready to lend aid to their cause. Across the continent, people of all walks are making the decision to follow their hearts. Thus, so too shall we, so that our wings may help them soar. And soaring high above the holds of Erebonia's curse, we will join together as one to become the radiant rays of hope, 
piercing through the oppressive darkness of despair. To that end, I hereby name us. Not the crimson wings of the Civil War, nor the winds of freedom on the Western Front, but our third and greatest title, the Radiant Wings. Your Highness. The Radiant Wings, huh? Not a bad name. <laughs> it has a lovely ring to it, doesn't it? Huh. Didn't even take you five minutes to flip the whole damn script on us. Ha <laughs> ha! Finer words have never been spoken, oh eternal rival of mine. Who boy. The dead keep cropping up one by one. We really screwed the pooch here, huh? Then why don't we go ahead and make things right? This little charade ends here. Members of the society, exterminate them all. What? Your Highness! Seriously? Haven't you had enough yet? <laughs> well, why not? I'm always up for a bit of slaughter and destruction. And there's nothing quite like putting a damper on someone's parade. <laughs> I suppose we couldn't expect it to hold forever. Shit, don't tell me. It's engaging spatial annihilation. The Type Beta is switching to high-speed mode as well. <sighs> now you've done it! Enough chit-chat. Time to say goodbye. Damn. It would seem they aren't bluffing. Stop this at once, Cedric! Why are you still doing this? Oliver just came back to us! Don't you see, Elfin? That's exactly why I must do this! I'm just as glad as you to see him alive again. But feelings such as that are only for the weak! We're ending this world and creating a new order in its place. And an undertaking this great leaves me no room for weakness! Chancellor Osborne entrusted me with a mission. And I swear, by my hand, I will carry it through! I believe you've actually done quite enough for now, your highness. Huh? That voice. My, my. Speak of the devil. Chancellor Osborne! Father... Rufus, too. Instructor Claire... Even you? <laughs> I come to you today from the Imperial Capital. You'll have to excuse me for not attending in person. As for my fellow world leaders, President Rocksmith, Prince Albert, Princess Claudia, my warmest greetings to you all. <laughs> You're the last person I expected to make an appearance here today. Our greetings to you as well. A shame we couldn't meet under better circumstances. I must apologize for not giving you prior notice of our visit. Not at all, your highness. This airspace is a neutral zone. No permission is needed from the Ereponian government to enter it. Lieutenant General Cassius Bright, just how long has it been? Since your surprise visit to Liberal, about three years. Though it appears your people have been fervently active in our regional capitals in your stead. You flatter me. Our work is nothing compared to that of your team from R&A Research. 
Are they talking about the Erebonian Intelligence Division? Yeah. Richard and the others have been struggling to counter their efforts. I see the special support section has chosen to attend as well. I do hope our dear Rufus isn't causing you too many difficulties. Here and there, perhaps. Though I would very much like to establish a better working relationship with them, wherever we can. What a barefaced liar. It's a pleasure to meet you again, Your Excellency. I can't help but be reminded of our conversation at Orcus Tower two years back. Ah, yes. When we spoke of the resolve needed in trying times. How very nostalgic. And last, but certainly not least, Prince Oliver, my deepest apologies. I scarcely realized just how gravely I'd underestimated you. I imagine even the Duchess and her cohorts must share in my sentiment. <laughs> Indeed. It would seem I'm not as keen as I thought myself to be. That's quite enough flattery for today, Your Excellency. As it currently stands, we can no longer stop either one of these grand operations from commencing. And yet, as I've already declared, we will continue on as the Wings of Passage. Boreen, Lloyd, Estelle, and every one of their allies. For I know in my heart of hearts that their light will shine through to the very end. Your Highness, if we weren't sure of ourselves before, we definitely are now. <laughs> He's trying way too hard to sound cool. Be my guest. You may flit around as much as you please. But know this, you have only six days before Operation Jormungand makes its move. Huh? As one of the authors behind this plan, allow me to issue a declaration. The order to commence Operation Jormungand will be officially given at the stroke of noon on the 1st of September. <sighs> D-Day. The start of the Great War. Indeed. And preceding it, an omen of epic proportions to which the entire continent will bear witness. The harbinger of the end of the world. The Great Twilight. The same day will also mark the beginning of the rivalry of the Seven. Jaeger King Rutger Klossel, I hope you are prepared. Sure am. And what of you, Seventh Anguis of Ouroboros, Arian Road the Steel Maiden? I have no objections. <laughs> I must admit, I'm deeply interested in how you all managed to escape that explosion. But I can wait until a more appropriate time to satisfy my curiosity. <laughs> then it's true. Yeah. Though I bet the Phantom Thief had something to do with it. Now, if I may have your attention, everyone. I'd like to present two individuals who deserve some recognition for their contributions to the rivalries. M Mother! And Professor Schmidt, too? So when you said you were leaving on business... <sighs> Hello. I suspect this comes to you as somewhat of a surprise. But I simply assisted with an off-the-record request from the Erebonian government. That is all. Miss Kreuz, the professor and I have completed fine-tuning the device, as you asked. <laughs> Marvelous! The both of you have my utmost appreciation. Ah, 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 ah. You can save your empty gratitude for someone else. I am simply working toward my own goals, nothing more. Uh, what exactly are you planning, Bell? Allow me to make one final introduction to our roster, one not even we expected. And yet, one that will surely prove instrumental in setting the stage for the rivalries. Uh-huh. Now that you mention it, I haven't seen McFirebro around in a while. 
Yo, you called? Man, I love it when there's a time limit. Really gets the blood pumping, you feel me? But I ain't the star here. Hey, come on out already. Hmm. Uh, no way. <sighs> a mask? Did he get brainwashed? V Viscount Arsade? So this is what became of you. I was curious how and where you'd managed to wander off after losing your left arm. His left arm? Father! So you've turned even the Radiant Blade Master into one of your puppets then? That would be wrong, for I am no puppet. I am Victor S. Arsade. I have lost neither my memories nor my sense of self. It brings me no small pain for us to meet again like this, Cassius. Perhaps, but it's no small delight to know you're still alive as well. I can only assume this is the curse compelling you against your will. Huh? Know something we don't, old man? A similar case occurred in Liberal three years ago. In Phantasma. We encountered artificial copies of people who had the same memories and personalities as the originals. You're trying to tell me it's happening all over again? No, that was in the Recluse Cube. What we have here in Erebonia is something on a far greater scale than that. Yeah, the curse is forcing Mr. Viscount to do whatever it wants him to. He's the strongest swordmaster in the Empire. That's why he was chosen to set the stage for the rivalries! I thought Aurelia surpassed him, though. Precisely. All to create the best possible conditions for the resurrection of the Great One. So that's how it works. It's almost as though the curse has a consciousness, a will of its own. No, Father. So his skills as one of the greatest swordsmen on the continent are being used against him. <sighs> There's no need for anguish. These are nothing more than the whims of fate. When next we meet, it will be as heralds of the rivalries. Reen, Laura, I expect you to put forth your very best when the time comes to pit steel against steel. Catch you when the fun finally starts. We'll be waiting. Alrighty. Guess we'd best head out ourselves. Best of luck, Miss Maiden. If I see you again, it'll be between my crosshairs. Very well. I will await that moment with bated breath. Ines, Anea, return to me. I will require you at my side once more. So we're go we're, we're really gonna have the Arab Divine Knights fight each other and not just have Reen fight everyone? Yes, my lord. As you wish. Ha! <laughs> Busy times ahead for all of us, huh? Our final battlefield draws near. The very thought is enough to make the blood stir. Just what kind of farce do all of you take this for? We aren't finished here! Not by a long shot! Who do you think you are, deserting your duty? Sorry, kid. We got our priorities. <laughs> That's quite enough, your highness. The task you were given was a greeting, a show of formality and nothing further. Evidently, you have failed to understand that. I have to warn you against overstepping your bounds. Or must I remind you of your position as an iron blood? <coughs> your Highness. Uh, uh. Now, now, let us leave the matter at this. Return to Heimdall for now, your highness. There yet remains an important role you must play. Understood. Boss, Zeno, Leo... My lord... Oh, 
Ouch! That Princey boy is going to sulk on that one for weeks. Looks like the party's over now. What a shame. I was having so much fun. I do hate to cut our engagement short, but I believe it's time we made our exit. Understood. See you around, guys! <laughs> Continue on with your struggle, vain as it may be. I want to relish making you squirm before we finish you off for good. Now, if you'll excuse us. Hence, Jaeger Brigade, fall back! Get moving! Belle, just how far will you take this? First Sharon, and now Mother too? Guess we won't be settling the score this time around. We'll go ahead and see ourselves out too. Hmm. George! So you're gonna leave without saying a single thing, again? Don't worry. We'll be able to settle things soon. But don't expect any mercy from me when that happens. <laughs> right. Real convincing. George, or would you prefer I call you Georg? Either way, I owe you my thanks. You can keep them. Farewell. Man, that guy really isn't cut out for this. <laughs> Look who's talking. Exactly. You're no different. Whoa. Didn't realize you guys were keeping demons up in that ship. Oh, Lecter. I can only guess who you're referring to. Still, it really is wonderful to see you again. It's been so long since we last met at the trade conference. I won't even bother scolding you anymore, Lecter. All I ask is that you promise me one thing. That we'll still have a class reunion, no matter how this all ends. Leo wants just the same. Jill and Hans do too. Sheesh. You guys just can't learn to let it go, can you? Fine. I'll bite. Now making a promise cost me nothing, after all. You just gotta promise me that you survive long enough to get there. Of course. The same goes for you. I'll be waiting, with a fist curled and ready to knock some sense back into you. So be prepared! I'm glad everyone was able to have this chance to see each other one last time. With this period of relative peace nearing its end, May each of us give every last ounce of our strength in the coming days. And Reen, you have a decision to make. Will you give in to your cursed destiny? Rebel against your fate? Will you simply flee? Or will you continue to struggle with every fiber of your being until you have seen this abyss of despair through to the end? <laughs> Whether we'll ever meet again, I can't say for sure. But if we do, I guarantee you'll have no doubt about which path I've taken. <laughs> My goodness, His Excellency certainly is impulsive. Farewell, everyone. May you enjoy what little time you have left before the end of days is upon us. I pray that you all have a safe journey home. Be assured that neither the Imperial Army nor Ouroboros will interfere with your return. On that note, you are also free to go and visit His Majesty at his bedside, should you so desire. As for you, Lloyd, I have temporarily suspended your arrest warrant. I imagine you'd like a chance to visit those dear to you. Far be it from me to hold you from your final farewells. Wait, really? Not a trap, is it? 
<laughs> Think of it as my personal apology to you for Operation Birdcage. We will be recalling our troops from Michelin as well. Why don't you enjoy yourselves there one last time? I'd like to thank you for the consideration. Though not half as much as I'd like to deck you in the face! Instructor Claire. They're always so difficult to get through to. Well, this has been a most productive encounter. I don't know if I trust them to not interfere with our return, so we'll be taking our leave as soon as possible. I wish you all the best of luck in the coming days. May each of us do our utmost, no matter what path we've chosen. I shall find a way to pay my respects to His Majesty before setting a course back home. With that, farewell for now. Princess Elfin, Lady Mildine, and General Le Guin, congratulations on rallying so many to your side this day. As for Rain, Lloyd, Estelle, and all the rest, may Adios give you her blessing, wherever your endeavors might take you. And once again, Prince Oliver, I can't express enough how much of a relief it is to see you alive. <laughs> Always a pleasure brightening your day with a bit of bewilderment. And Cassius, though we walk different paths for now, perhaps we could meet for a drink one day. I imagine Zinn would be eager to join. Ha! Huh. I'll be sure to take you up on that. Estelle, Joshua, Ren, Sherazard, Agate, Tita. We shall meet again. Take care of yourselves, as well as each other. For sure. We may not be on the same team exactly, but good luck all the same, Dad. <laughs> you better not get beat by some Imperial hotshot, you got it? You can leave any matters in Erebonia to me. I'll make sure to be close in touch with Sarah. The Society's at work all over the continent. Be careful out there, Dad. We'll let you know if we discover anything about their plans. Be careful, Mr. Bright! You too, Chloe! Oh, that was way too intense. Agreed. Not just the battles themselves, but the entire situation. Yeah. Having the fate of the entire continent at stake can get a little overwhelming. Huh. Don't go wussing out on us just yet. We're finally in the home stretch. Yes, that we are. Oh, Muse? You changed your clothes back. So I have. I suppose we should count ourselves lucky things ended up as nice as they did. Oh, I swear. Muse? You don't really think your signature sweet smile will be enough for us to forgive you, do you? Huh? I was about to ask just the same. You were about to pull some real wild shit back there, weren't you? Just so you know, we overheard your conversation on the bridge. I need to have more than just a few words with you, as your instructor. Yes. Instructorine. That was... strangely meek of her. What, you sick or something? More so than usual, I mean. I'd say she realized she went a bit too far this time around. Though perhaps we're partially to blame for all the pressure we've placed upon her. <laughs> Such is the folly of youth, wouldn't you say? It pleases us all to have you grace us in good health, your highness. You'll have to direct your thanks to the many others who helped this come to pass. Our end game is nigh, Reen. Should you wish it, my wings are prepared to lift you to a new path. Uh... <laughs> it would be our honor, your highness. But before that, on behalf of us all, welcome back. It's good to be back. Now then, ladies and gentlemen, 
Liberlians, Crossbellans, and Erebonians alike. Welcome aboard the second successor of the high-speed cruiser Arsay, the Courageous Two. Act Two: Guiding Starlight End. Did well against both of them. Oh wow! You really outdid yourselves. Thanks for tuning into this Let's Play of The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel 4. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.